In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the content in Easy Drummer 3 on the Q page in 32C version 8. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles. And if you're anything like me, I've been using Easy Drummer and Superior Drummer for a few years now. And it's great for songwriting and just adding drum parts for songs that you're working on with clients or maybe your own personal projects. And what I'm gonna show you today is something really cool you can do on the Q page. Just like using our bundled content, you can use the content within the plugin to drag in the clips and therefore use pretty much anything they provide in Easy Drummer on the Q page. So let me show you how you do it. So first of all, we're going to make a new track and this is gonna be a MIDI track and go down the instrument and we're gonna choose Easy Drummer 3, the AU version, cause I'm on a Mac. And we wanna make sure that the show on Q page checkbox is checked and just click on add and close. Okay, now looking at the Q page, we can see we have our Q track right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Easy Drummer 3 plugin. And we can see that there is a great new GUI for this plugin. And we have the option to choose between Bright Room, Main Room and Tight Room. So for our purposes today, I'm just gonna mess with the main room drum kit and we can click on each element. And you can hear that these are excellent samples and they were recorded really well. And as we go to the grooves tab, we're just gonna be finding some grooves that we like and also some drum fills and drag those into the cue slots. Okay, I like that one. So we'll drag that into the first slot up there and let's go find a few more. Okay, that one was different enough and let's do one more. So now that we have three drum grooves to play with, let's go ahead and find some fills to finish that out. Okay, I like that one. And all right, that one's cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is something similar that we've done in other videos and use the follow options to tell these clips what to do after it plays. So I already know that these clips are 32 beats long. Just for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna shorten these down to 16 beats but to leave room for the drum fills at the end, I'm actually gonna make them 12 beats. So that way the last drum fill makes the last four beats. So we're gonna just choose the first drum groove. And now for the fun part, we'll click on each one of these and set the jump to a multi, which is where we're going to select multiple clips at once. And it's gonna to be totally random of which one it actually chooses. And we're gonna do the same for the drum fills as well. Now let's press play on these clips and just see what happens. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on there and you can jam for hours just with that right there. It's really, really cool. So let me grab a bass and let's just play along with stuff. And if you're at home uh, listening, just grab whatever instrument that you have and let's jam together. Here we go. So I'm actually gonna put a cue marker on the timeline here and let's start jamming.
Okay, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and click the bell down below. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.